I will give you several very important tips for using the Micropulse ICES model C5, and all of these tips are also relevant for the model B5. But first, there's a few things to keep in mind for any Micropulse ICES product. None of our products are FDA approved for any human medical condition. They are sold as research instruments only without medical claims of any kind and are intended for use by responsible adults for self-experimentation only. And if you want more information, you should read the C5 user manual. The most important thing to keep in mind is that the C5 and the B5 can only be powered by 5 volt USB only. Check to make sure that the cable you're using has a USB type A on one end. And of course, there's a 3.5 millimeter barrel jack on the other end that goes into the C5. These can be plugged into any USB charger port, whether it's in the wall, on a lamp, or a plug. It can also be a car adapter that has a USB output. As long as you do this, you'll be doing five volts and that'll work for your C5 but you can't just power it off of a USB from a laptop or a computer that doesn't have enough power, and you definitely can't use any other voltage other than five volts. The next thing to keep in mind is that you have to keep your coils in good working shape for the ICES technology to work. Always check your coils using the hexagonal coil tester shown. Do not pull or yank sharply or bend the coil cables. That'll shorten their life. Make sure the coils are always firmly plugged in. This is true for all ICES devices. Make sure every time you use it that the coils are plugged in all the way. And you can test the coils by listening for clicks. You can also use the coil tester frequently to test the coils. And please be sure to replace the coils when they get worn out, when they become defective. A flashing red LED, one that continuously flashes, not just one little brief flash, but continuously flashes, tells you that something is wrong. Usually this means that the C5 or the B5 is trying to overheat because of something that you're not doing right. The C5 and B5 have an internal expert system in their firmware that prevents damage from overheating, or at least it tries to prevent it. And it flashes the red LED to let you know that you're doing something that's causing stress to the system. So if you see a flashing red LED, here's what you do. Make sure all the coils are firmly and fully plugged in. You can use fewer than four coils. You can just have one plugged into the C5, but any coils that are plugged in need to be plugged in all the way. Check the coils often, listen for clicks, and use the hexagonal coil tester to make sure that they're working. If you see the hexagonal coil tester flashing green, you know the coils are fine. Don't run the device on full power or maximum frequency for long periods. That causes a lot of overheating. And do not cover the C5 with blankets or pillows. The C5 and B5 have advanced system diagnostics screens that you can access. Those screens do not tell you anything you need to know about the C5 or B5 unless you're having a major malfunction. In that case, if you really are having a system malfunction, you can give us a call and we'll walk you through using those screens. Normally when it's operating, the C5 would show you its running screen, which in this case is the example is it's showing that you're using protocol A9 at intensity level nine. Once the C5 is running, you can press and hold the yellow button for one second and it will show you the internal voltages and the internal temperatures. And none of that information is really important to you unless you have a major malfunction and you're calling us to see what we can do for troubleshooting. But just so that you know, you can access the internal voltages and the internal temperature using the yellow button. But don't worry about what it tells you unless you're actually having a system malfunction and the coils are not working. Then give us a call and we'll walk you through it. The other advanced system diagnostic screen is the internal diagnostic for coil function. And that's if you press and hold the blue button for one second while it's running, you'll see a screen that looks sort of like this. And it has four diagnostic states for each of the four channels. It can tell you that it thinks the coils are okay, or it can tell you that it thinks there might be a short or that there might be no coil connected. But the device can actually be wrong. About this what you really need to do is check it with a coil tester that will tell you for sure and then the fourth state that it can detect is over temperature 
once again, don't worry about what the device is saying until you have a major malfunction and you call us for um, maintenance, which happens very rarely. This way I can ask you what the screen is saying and we can go through and see if there is actually something wrong with your device or maybe you just have it set up wrong. So what do you do if the red LED comes on and stays on or if it continues to flash? Well, that almost always means that there's an over temperature condition on one or more of the channels. And you might see a diagnostic screen that looks like this one where it says all four channels are over temperature. The basic thing to do here is make sure the coils are plugged in all the way, make sure they're functioning, but most importantly, turn the system off and let it cool down. And it may be that you're running at too high a frequency or running at too high a power um, or that one of the coils is defective, but plug the coils in all the way, let the device cool down and um, restart it and see if the condition persists. If the condition persists, try running it at a lower intensity or a lower frequency. And if the condition still persists, then you can contact us for um, troubleshooting. Every now and then we have somebody call up and ask, well, gee, why can't I just run the device at full power and full speed all the time with a maximal load? And the reason for that is that the C5 is a scientific instrument. It has not been child proofed. So it requires a certain amount of adult discretion and, and common sense to use. Um, there's many other products like this, like you can't take your car out and run it at full speed all the time. You can't turn on a stove and run it at full heat all the time. There's many appliances around the house where you have to use common sense and adult discretion and judgment. And the C5 is one of them. So every now and then we have somebody who's been convinced by some other PEMF marketer that more power is more effective, that you have to use the maximum amount of power. And this, of course, is nonsense. There's no scientific rational basis to think that more power makes PEMF work better. In fact, all of the information that we've ever collected, all the papers that I've ever read, indicate that when properly designed, PEMF works best at very low power. So you want to use it at the lowest power that's effective. You don't want to just crank it up. And there's really no, no need to do that very often. Occasionally, you do need a little bit more power for some period of time, and the capacity of the device is built to allow you to do that. But if the C5 tells you it's in the danger zone, if it starts flashing a red LED, then you're using too much and you have to tone it down a bit by reducing the power level or the frequency, making sure the coils are fully plugged in, take action like that. So in summary and in review, remember to power the C5 or the B5, only use five volt USB power only and use it only from a USB charger jack, not from a laptop or other computer. Make sure that you're taking good care of the coils, that you test them frequently with the hexagonal coil tester. They should be clicking and make sure always, every time you use any micropulse device, that all the coils are plugged in fully and firmly. And you have to realize that coils are worn against the body and they need to be replaced when they're worn out, just like a pair of shoes. Another reminder, to prevent overheating, don't pile pillows and blankets on top of your C5. That'll cause the red LED to flash because it's overheating. But it is perfectly okay to put pillows and blankets over the coils so that you can get those in contact with where you need them to be. So make sure that the C5 unit itself is out in the open with air circulating around it to keep it cool and always make sure that all the coils are plugged in fully and firmly. Thank you for listening and hopefully this will help you get the most out of your model C5 or B5.